Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Animus J, and welcome to a tutorial video on how to build this beautiful, beautiful, massive tree in Minecraft. Now, I did this in creative mode, and it took hours upon hours in order to do, but I have built two, to th two or three trees uh, similar to this one in survival mode. It is completely possible if you have a way to reliably get trees, whether that's planting a whole ton of them or making a tree farm which obviously would be better then you'll be able to do this it does take hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of logs and even more leaves depending obviously on the size of how big you want to build your tree but my tree right here took a little over seven hours in creative mode the ones that I've built in survival I spread them out over quite a few days probably even weeks of gathering resources Sources and putting it together falling off and dying a couple hundred times but yeah it's all worth it to make something this massively big and beautiful Something I'd like to encourage you on is while you're in the building process, do not get too frustrated, do not give up, and do not get caught up in the detailing. When you are still building the frames and the structures of the tree, don't worry about the tiny little details because those will, those will pan out in the end or you can adjust them in the end when you have a better picture of the bigger scale of how your tree is going to look. If you don't like what it is that you're building, if you're kind of put off by it, I would like to encourage you to just keep on going with it. There were several points where I was not happy with the direction my tree was going, and I actually thought I was going to have to tear half the canopy of leaves down, but they ended up working out in the end. So see it through and see how it looks when it's all complete. You can always make adjustments, even major adjustments, later on. Other than that, if you do build a giant tree in your world, I would love to have you send me a picture or video of it, either on on Twitter or in the Discord. There are links to both of those in the description box down below, but let's get into the tutorial. So in selecting the base of your tree, you want to think about how tall and how wide your tree is going to be. So for example, if you have a tree that's only a few blocks wide, like so, how tall is that tree going to be? Now, it depends on what kind of a tree it is. Maybe it's a super tall tree that comes way, way high and it's just a very tall, very thin tree. Or otherwise, with a base like this, maybe, you know, it only comes up about 20 blocks and then it has like a, a little bit of uh, a canopy around it. Uh, maybe it has a larger base but maybe it's a leaning tree so maybe the base is about this size but instead of coming straight up maybe the top of your tree is going to lean so hard that it's going to be way over here so these are all the things that you need to consider and I'm using cobblestone right now as the base of my tree and that's because eventually a majority of the base of your tree is going to be covered up by the roots and so it's easier in my opinion to start with a different stone build up to a place above where the roots are going to be and then start using your wood so that you're saving on your tools a little bit and so that you're saving on your resources because building a massive tree like this is very resource intensive so I'm going to build a rather large tree and I'm just going to do a random sized circle. Now my circle is not going to be perfect because my tree is not going to be perfect. If you make your tree perfectly circular, it's going to look funny because we're programmed as people to look for flaws, to look for things to not be perfect, and trees are not perfect. If you have a perfectly circular tree in Minecraft, people will look at it and they won't see a tree, they'll see a cylinder. So the next thing is I'm going to build this up to the level about where I want my roots to be. Now how do I know how tall my roots are going to be? And that depends on how tall my tree is going to be. This tree is going to be very, very tall. 
it's going to come up maybe to here probably before this is where the canopy is going to be probably and so the roots need to be quite tall as well now if you're building a tree that your leaves are going to start right here obviously you don't want your roots to come all the way up to right here because that's going to look funny. You're gonna have more roots than you have trees. So the size of your roots, if that was how tall your tree needed to be, your roots probably are only going to be about that tall, if even, and even with that one, that's a, a tree with some very large roots. So here I have the foundation of the tree started, but I'm not going to put in the roots right now because I want to make sure that I reach the height that I have in my mind. Not only that, the angle that the tree is going to come out on is going to depend on is going to determine how the roots come up. So if my tree is going to come off heavily to this side, I'm probably going to have a heavy root on the opposite side that digs down into the ground and supports the tree leaning in that direction. The other thing I want you to remember as we're starting this is don't get consumed with the details. So getting into this, how do we get started? What I'm gonna do is just jump up above and I'm gonna place a block. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the entire ring for this first round of wood and I'm just gonna place it everywhere that I have a piece of stone. Now for the second round, we have to know which direction we're going to take our tree. We can't just start randomly placing blocks or you're gonna have a crazy looking tree. I mean, you might get lucky, but you, might, you probably won't. So the direction I'm going to take my tree is going to be off in this direction. I'm going to slant it, not super heavily, but I'm going to slant it off into this direction that I am right now from the tree. So how do we do that, all right? The way you do that is you slowly start moving your tree over block by block like so, placing uh, logs off to the side of where you've already placed them. Now this though is too heavy of a start, okay? You don't want to continually do this because what's gonna happen, if I demonstrate real quick just using logs, is you're just gonna end up with a diagonal tree and that just looks ridiculous. So imagine that's my tree, okay? If the rest of it is filled in that way, I just have a diagonal tree and that looks absurd. There's no tree that grows just perfectly diagonal like that. So you don't wanna do that. You want your tree to have twists. You want it to have bends. You want it to have natural shapes and changes in the contour. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to place it a little bit off. So since I have this, this extrusion right here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna play with that a little bit. I'm gonna put a block right there and then I'm gonna bring wood out. I'm gonna keep this where it is and then I'm going to bring the other one out to the corner and then the rest of these, I'm just going to kind of line up a little bit and then these three, what I'm gonna do because they're on the opposite end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these ones in and then I'm gonna pull this, these two in as well just because I don't want that long of a straight line. You see, if I have a really long straight line like that, it's going to stand out a little bit, so I don't want that. And then I'm going to keep the rest of this the way that it is. Coming up the next level, I'm going to increase it out in this direction just a little bit more. So you see how I'm slowly bringing it out, okay? One block at a time, so to speak. So then these two, I'm gonna bring out, no, I don't wanna bring out that one. Let's bring out this one. And then I'm gonna keep that one. And then I'm going to put this one out. I'm gonna keep this one in. Let's go ahead and bring this one out. While you're building your tree, you wanna build odd shapes into it. Like we were talking about before that trees are not a perfect size. And so if you have one that's too perfect, people are going to look away from it. They're, they're not like even this right here. You see how this is just straight lines. We don't want that. Now, this spot right here is very small. It's only these three blocks. And so we have time to change it and we need to change it soon. 
but say it was going from top to bottom where the cobblestone is, that doesn't look anything like a tree. So you want to think about as you're building your tree, where is the weight of the tree starting to shift? Because we don't want to change the circumference of the tree necessarily. We don't want to make it bulge. And what I mean by that is if I come out on this block because I'm trying to go in that direction, right? So you would think, oh, well, I need to take it in that direction. But no, what that's doing is that's actually making our tree wider. If you look at it from this side, that sticks out more than what it does if it's not there and it's only here. So you have to think about the perspective that your tree is going to give off and how exactly it's going to lean. So I want to actually, in order to go in that direction, I want to actually bring it in this way a little bit because the weight is pulling it this way, so to speak. And then kind of the same thing over on this side. But what we can do is we can make it lean heavier off to this angle just a little bit. But we need to make sure that we're keeping it somewhat consistent in the circumference until we get a little bit higher where we can start closing it off. Another thing to consider as you're coming up, now we talked about how this side had too many straight lines and I've started to break that up, but you can see right here, I've brought this out and it looks completely normal. Now I've covered this corner, so to save on resources, I'm gonna actually cut that down until uh, it's, it's really important to take a step back every so often and look at the shape that your tree is taking and the direction that it's heading out of them. So for example, if I were to do something like this, where the tree has this little indentation right here, that's completely normal so long as you make it look like it's a natural state. You don't wanna make it something that's too completely obvious or too much of a straight line. So if we take a step back right now, I really like the direction that our tree is going. And something I specifically want to point out is that if you look at this back end as we're leaning towards this direction, one, I want to lean a bit more than we have been, okay? So I've been leaning every three to four blocks it looks like. And so I'm gonna start leaning it a little bit steeper than that, um, especially now that we have a foundation that if you think about a tree that's leaning, it's probably going to have a little bit of a bulge at the bottom of the lean because that's where the gravity has pressed the wood down. And so it's grown stronger in order to support it right there. But if you look, I've put in little spots like this um, places where I've built and then not built and then rebuilt on that vertical line and that's to help it to look a little more um, you know like bark normally would on a tree spots like this and then the other thing is if you look back here it doesn't look because it's all and that's really good because we want different aspects to our different sides of the tree we don't want every side of the tree to have the same kind of look to it we want to give the tree its own life its own story like it was starting to grow and then it had to bend off to this direction and it's just reaching towards the sun the way that i've broken it up it actually looks like the tree is starting to bend and twist off to that diagonal direction. So I'm starting to reach the height that I want my canopy to be at. And so we start need to, we need to start thinking about branches. So up here at the top, I'm gonna continue bringing it in, but what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start closing the tree off. I'm going to start doing what I told you not to do in the beginning, which w is to change the circumference of the tree. And so I'm going to slowly 
close in the tree while still making the tree lean off to the uh, the direction that I am but the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to start bringing it in so that it's more and more narrow as we go up so if I were to do a branch off of right here you can see the tree is leaning and then has an even more leaning branch and that's not going to look natural most likely what happened as our tree was growing was that the branches started growing off into the opposing direction in order to counterbalance the way that the tree was growing and so you can see right there even though that's just a straight line it looks like that's a good place for a branch and so right here I'm going to mark with a different kind of uh, block that this is where my tree is going to start leaning or excuse me to start branching off now this is Minecraft and so we have everything in squares okay we can't place things on a diagonal other than if you place it diagonally like that and so obviously that doesn't always look that doesn't always look completely natural now you can make it look natural but it's going to take a lot of work in order to do it what we need to do is make sure that when we make our branches we don't make a branch on this side of the tree make a branch on this side of the tree and make a branch on this side of the tree because then what we have is a helicopter <laughs> it looks like a helicopter now it, that's not how trees grow they, they don't grow like that they branch off at diagonal and curvy directions so building the branches of our tree is going to be a little trickier than the trunk and the way that we're going to accomplish the branches is the same way that we did the trunk but it's going to have much heavier curves it's going to have much heavier leans to it Every time you come out by one block, it's going to give it a steeper vertical climb, whereas when you come out by more than one, it's going to extend more horizontally. So if you look right here, we have a good start, and it starts to climb like a branch normally would, but if you think about a normal branch, or, well, a, a heavier branch on the tree, rather, it's not going to come out and then just go sideways. That's what the very small branches are going to do, and we're not even going to make those kinds of branches in our tree. So what we have to do is we need to continue making this climb in a vertical way, slowly getting more and more vertical as we go so that our branch is coming towards the sky like a normal tree would. So if you look right there and you imagine that being a whole lot thicker, it's starting to look pretty good except that it's not curved in the right direction. It's kind of curved almost like that and I think that might be because of our cobblestone. So I'm going to get rid of these and then we're going to continue climbing a little bit more vertical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one actually up by two and then up by two again and now you can see we have the shape that I want where it's kind of curving upwards like that and like I said I'm being a little bit picky right now but that's because this is the frame for the entire branch so this is going to be the bottom of my branch but the bottom of the branch is actually going to connect the tree a lot more naturally it's going to have a buildup like that that supports the weight of the branch much like the roots are going to support the base of the tree but we're not worried about doing that right now what we're worried about is getting the actual branch itself put into place so that we can build a support that's going to properly uh, hold the branch in place so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over and I'm just going to repeat basically what I've done but I'm not going to repeat it exactly so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to come just a little bit short of where I went last time and then I'm going to come out a little bit further and then I'm going to cobblestone up and then I'm going to come out a little bit further and then this time I'm going to come out for this next one let's come out in the exact same place so right here it's going to completely match up with where the next one inclined and then we can make it come out in the same place and then let's have this one come out a little bit further and so you can see what I'm doing is I'm just slowly bringing the branch up 
in the same way that I built the tree, I'm just doing it in a way that's a lot smaller scale. I'm not too worried about the overall look of my branch right now for the top of it. What I wanna do first is I wanna make sure that I can connect the top of the branch with the bottom of the branch, keeping in mind that as the branch gets higher, it's going to also get smaller. So I don't want to keep the same circumference. What I want to do is I want to slowly make it smaller. And so I'm going to do that on a pretty even scale for right now. And then what I'll do is when I do my detailing of the branch, I'm going to adjust it and I'm going to change a lot of the branch uh, structure. So overall, I'm really pleased with how our tree is starting to look. It's taking on a really nice and natural shape. I really like the way that these two branches are kind of curving away from each other. But at the same time, if you look at it from this angle, they're actually curving into sort of the same direction. And then we have this branch right here that's very heavy and very big, and it's curved backwards against the lean of the tree in order to counter the weight of the shifting the the leaning of the tree so the last thing we're going to cover in this part is going to be the roots of the tree so if we take a step back we need to determine how big are the roots how large are they and what direction do they go off in because the roots are basically just branches that are on the ground so if i take it just like the branches i don't want to have a branch in this direction a branch in that direction you know we don't want northeast south branches that just doesn't look good and not only that we need a lot more roots than what we have branches and if you think of roots they're very windy and they dig down into the ground so how are we going to do this the easiest way to do them Choose the top point of one of your roots. Now this one specifically I'm placing on this side because I want it to be the largest root and I want it to counteract. It's got to really dig down deep in order to hold the weight of our leaning tree. So this is going to be the highest root. And so this is the top part of it. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out a little bit further on each side. I'm gonna bring this out relatively the same distance. And then I'm going to come out there. And then I'm gonna come out here. And I'm just coming out a little bit further on each one because that's how the tree is going to dig in to the ground. So as I start to come out now, I'm seeing how big my root actually needs to be. And I've extended past or all the way to the base of the trunk on this left side. So that tells me that I actually need to bring my root a little bit more out onto this side in order to properly hold up the tree. So the same sense, I need to look at what is the thickest part of the tree? Because right here is not actually very thick. So it doesn't make sense to have a large portion of the root be holding onto there. And that's why I did the tallest point of the root over on this side is because that is where the strength of the tree needs to be held onto. So then what I'm going to do now that I've brought it out a bit is I'm going to start using my cobblestone in order to bring this slowly down to the ground. Now on this one, so far what we're doing is we're bringing it straight out and I don't want that. I don't want it to be straight out. So what I'm going to do with my branches or excuse me, with my roots is now this center line is gonna come off to this direction a little bit. And I'm going to continue it down until it meets on the ground. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up all the other branches to that spot. Now, keep in mind that the bottom needs to actually connect up in, uh, in order for it to be a complete root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out with the bottom. And the same way we did the top of some of our branches is I'm going to, or excuse me, the sides of our branches. I'm going to come out and then I'm going to come over, come out and then come over. And what that's doing is that's putting it in my own mind that, hey, this is not, so even though this is a straight line 
right? The one that I built on JWorld has a really nice spot where there's kind of a rocky cave that has, uh, a, well, it, it's almost like it's a rock itself. And so if we kind of just quickly build this up, now continuing over in this direction, and that's kind of the mentality that you need to have as you're building out this route. And then also keep in mind, your route doesn't have to all be on the ground. But if you see right here, the root looks like it's coming over a little bit of a rock. And you don't even need to have the rock there in order for it to look that way because there are some roots that do come up off of the ground. And so what you can do is you can just take your root and just make sure that it's thick enough and that it's closed up at the base of the tree in order to give it kind of that lifted look. So our tree is looking really good right now and I'm really happy with the shape of the trunk, with the direction of our branches, with the way that our roots are going around. So I'm going to leave this video off right here so that you have time to work on your trunk and branches and roots and in the next video we'll get into how to be a little bit more detailed and how to build out your leaves and your canopy on your tree so for right now that's it i hope that you're coming along really well in your tree and i would love to see some screenshots of your progress on twitter or in the discord so send those my way because I'd really love to see how you're coming along. One of the ways that I measure how well I'm doing my tutorials is how well you guys are able to follow them. So that's it for this one. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. That's it for right now though. I'm Animus J and I'll see you next time.